Hey everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for our April 2023 release. And I'm doing a release and review video of this amazing little release. So I'm gonna go step by step through everything. Remember, I have a separate gnome assembly video for you. Um, that would be including the Gnome Dyes Cinco de Mayo add-ons and you can watch that closely. And you know, follow along if you uh, wanna see where everything is supposed to go. Remember, you can make you can use the pieces any way you'd like. These are just the way that uh, Jada Blossom envisioned them. So um, I will go through, um, I will show you what the outcome of that video was um, during this video. And I'll just go over the sizing and everything for you. Um, now, if you'd like to see me blend the new stencil, the chili pepper stencil, stay tuned to the end of the video. Otherwise, I will just show you the outcome um, during the release and review. And also the Build-A-Booth dies, the Build-A-Booth taco add-ons. Um, I will show you the outcome during the release and review. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, you can watch me put them together, although they're pretty straightforward. Okay, so anyways, we will start out with the first set, which is amazing. It's called Gnome Dyes Cinco de Mayo add-ons. Now, remember, you're going to want to have either the Gnome Dyes or the Girl Gnome Dyes or both, right? And then you can create um, some adorable projects. So first of all, you can make your little gnome have a sombrero on. He can hold a taco. Isn't that cute? He can hold a margarita. How cute is that? Remember, you can watch me putting them together on the gnome assembly video. A cactus. So cute. A little, oops, a little tequila shot or maybe lemonade if you'd like in his little hand. So cute. A pinata, which is adorable. And two super cute little maracas. There you go. So you can create all these things. You could use the girl dye and do the exact same things, um, the girl gnome dyes. Um, I just think they, it like it's a super cute little add-on set perfect for all your Cinco de Mayo cards or birthday cards or what have you. Really cute stuff. And remember, as always, with these little extra pieces, you don't have to use the layer with the hands. So you could just have a little cactus to go on a card, a little taco to go on a card, a little pinata to go on a card, a little glass of uh, tequila, or a little margarita to go on a card, whatever you like. Okay, second of all, I'm just going to move this these ones off to the side. I will go over the brand new, oops, let me move that off to the side, the brand new Build-A-Booth Taco add-ons. How cute is that? And remember, you're going to want the Build-A-Booth dies to assemble these. And remember, um, stay tuned to the end of the video and you can see me put them together. But in the meantime, here we go. So you've got the word tacos that fit perfect, fits perfectly on this sign. These little tiny chili peppers, I cut it a white and I colored them with uh, Copic marker G07 and R27. So cute. So there's little chili peppers up there. Now you can create a little row of chili peppers. I used the um, Sunshine, I think it's called Sun, Sunshine Studios or no, Sunny Studios papers um, for these. Isn't that cute? And look at that. So you can have little chili peppers on there. You can have a super cute little banners on there. You going you can have adorable little tacos on there. How cute is that? And remember, you can cut the circle out from the build a booth dies and you can add a little chili pepper in the center. You can add a little like a, a an amount of money. So you could say tacos, you know, and how much money they are. And then there are, there's the little taco. So remember, you can create these separately and they can go on your cards as well. How cute is that? And remember, for sizing, this build a booth takes up a lot of real estate on your card front. Isn't that cute? You know, you could also use these on a card front by themselves to decorate, right? You could use them as little pennants on your card. Whatever you like. And there you go. And that's an A2 size card base. So 4.25 by five and a half. Okay. So next we will look at the super cute 
two-piece chili pepper stencil. There are two stencils. They are six by six inches, which is what most pattern paper are for card making, right? It's kind of handy. And I went ahead and I blended them. Um, and I used Rustic Wilderness and I used Barn Door and Lumberjack Plaid in Distress Oxide inks. And that's on Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. Isn't that cute? Perfect background for your cards for your little taco cards little chili peppers so cute I love that okay next there are there's an amazing new stamp set with some great sentiments and I went ahead and I stamped them all in verse fine Claire nocturne ink onto um, paper tray ink white cardstock actually and I cut them all out with my Gemini machine and I thought I would show you the sizing. So we've got just hanging with my no with my nomingos. Tacos, you know me so well. Happy Cinco de Nomo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I love the fonts. Margarita with my nomies. I think that's one of my favorites. Nom nom. It's too cute. I'm just going to move them off. Remember, this is a, an A2 size card front, so 4.25 by 5.5. Just here for the tacos. That's me. I love some tacos. Shake your maracas. Perfect for those maracas. Wishing you a spicy birthday. See, perfect for a birthday card. Bad nombre. Too cute. And muy caliente, which is kind of fun, right? So I just think those are amazing little sentiments and perfect for all your cards. So remember, you can get the stamp set. And if you'd like, you can opt to purchase the Cinco de Nomo outline dice. So those are those are them. I'm throwing sentiments around. Sorry, guys. Okay, next we have the stamp set. Tacos for sale. Now these are made with the thought of stamping in the build a booth uh, build a booth die so this little piece here this little white piece fits these sentiments and do you see perfectly right super cute stuff so you could have them on your little booth but remember you could use these on a card just as easily so i'm just going to show you them this is on an A2 size card. So you've got tacos for sale, happy Cinco de Mayo, pinatas for sale, tequila tasting, holy guacamole. That's fun. Best fiesta ever. Perfect for a birthday, right? For a party. Taco night, margarita bar, pepper bar, live like every day is Taco Tuesday. So fun. And tacos and tequila with my nomies. Super cute sentiments. Perfect for your build a booth dies. Or you can just use them alone on a card for a sentiment. So cute. You got to love that. Okay, next we have the stamp set called Let's Fiesta. And then there's also the Let's Fiesta outline dice, right? And what I did was, is I went ahead and I stamped them and cut them out for you so you can see the sizing. And I'm going to use the green background just so you can see the sizing a little bit better. So this is an A2 size card base. And then there's this super cute little cactus with a mustache and a sombrero. How cute is that? And then you get two sentiments in this. Let's fiesta. And fiesta like there's no manana. So perfect little sentiments. And remember, you can use these sentiments on other cards. You don't have to use it with this, with this little cactus. Remember, you can cope with color this guy. So super cute. So Let's Fiesta and the Let's Fiesta die outlines if you like. So I just think those are so darn cute. Now, lastly, um, we have the Moroccan stencil. I do not have that as of yet to review, but hopefully I will get it and I will, you know, go over it with you and show you how pretty it is. It's a perfect little background um, you know, for some of these designs, I think. So I think that you would love to actually, you could probably use it on any card really, to be honest, it's a really pretty background. And, um, you know, and I believe that's the freebie. You're going to have to check out the rules as to how to get your hands on that, but super cute stuff. So that is all. So thank you, um, as always for watching the, the watching the, re <laughs> the review, release and review video. I'm stumbling over my words here. And if you'd like to see me blend the 
um, the new stencil, that chili pepper stencil, or want to watch me put together the um, taco or the Build-A-Booth taco add-ons, stay tuned. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so now I'm going to blend this brand new chili pepper stencil for you. So this was cut, I've got a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock cut at six inches square, and I'm using my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station with magnets. I'm pulling out my Distress Oxide Ink and Barn Door and a Tailored Expressions blending brush, and I'm just going to generously blend this over the background. Um, you know, you could use, because I'm using Oxide Inks, you could use a colored cardstock base if you'd like. A lot of times I'll use craft cardstock, but I thought this would show the stencil Pencil the best so I'm using it on white uh, the nice thing is is remember when you use pattern paper for cards generally it's an, from a six inch pad so if you use a six inch stencil you're getting the same size of paper but you're making it yourself and you can make it match whatever you'd like so now I'm pulling out the distress oxide and lumberjack um, lumberjack plaid I had to look at the name again I'm using that same blending brush and I'm just sort of blending around the edges just to darken the edges a little bit um, it did move a little bit and there's a little bit of a smudge, but you won't, you know, when I cut it down to use it, you won't see that. So I'm not too concerned. It's in the upper left-hand corner there. I made a little bit of a boo-boo. Okay, so now I'm going to lay on the little stems. I cleaned up my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station with some hand sanitizer and a microfiber cloth. And now I'm pulling out my Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide Ink and I'm using a, um, a Tailored Expressions blending brush again. But I'm using a pretty heavy hand because it's going to be going over the chili pepper a little bit. So I wanted it to show, and I'm just, you know, heavy, using a heavy hand and blending that ink on just to get a really cute little background. I think that this turned out so cute, perfect for all those little, you know, Cinco de Mayo celebration cards, super fun, party cards, fiesta, you know, lots of fun. So I'm just going to pull off my stencil. And isn't that so cute? I just think it turned out great. Now, this is how you do the Build-A-Booth uh, taco add-ons. So first, um, I cut out the word taco, and I used Sunny Studios paper. Um, I'm just, ignore the little rustling. I used the Sunny Studios Gingham Jewel Tones, and I cut it out you know, using my Gemini machine. And then I'm using some see-through tape to pick up the tacos. So it, the word tacos, so it's in the exact same spacing. Cause I kind of like that. And I'm using art glitter glue. That little piece of white paper is from, is Nina Solar White 80 pound. And I'm just going to pop that in place. And then I will apply that to my Build-A-Booth with some ATG tape. The Build-A-Booth was made with Jimin Tindalo uh, wood grain cardstock, 111 pound from cutcardstock.com. So now I'm pulling out um, some Copic markers. I'm using R27 and G07. And I'm just going to color in these little tiny chili peppers that come with the taco add-ons for the Build-A-Booth. Super cute stuff. Um, they're really tiny. You could put them in the little mason jar that comes, uh, I think that's an, on the Valentine add-ons, uh, if I'm not, oh, sweetheart add-ons, I'm not sure. But there's a little tiny mason jar and those would fit in there. I like to use them to decorate the sign. Um, so I just color them. I cut them in white uh, paper tray and cardstock and then I just color them in any color I like, right? So now I'm picking them up with my uh, Studio Catty embellishment wand just to make it easy. I'm going to pop them on my sign. That green that's on the top of the Build-A-Booth is also from the Sunny Studios Gingham Jewel Tones. Okay, so now I'm going to layer on, same thing, except for I used the, um, that's the Gingham Jewel Tones was the first ones. This one I'm using the dot Dots and Stripe, or no, wait a second, sorry. It's the Polka Dot Parade from Sunny Studio in the teal. So I'm adding those on. So first it was cut out of that um, gingham jewel tones. And then I'm adding on the polka dot parade six inch pad, six inch colors that's in the teal from Sunny Studio, just with, just with some art glitter glue. And then these little tiny pieces of yellow are from American Crafts. It's like a light buttery yellow. And I'm popping those up with scrapbook adhesives, uh, really thin little foam dots. So it gives you a little bit of um, dimension, but not too much. 
So this is a really easy set to put together. I just thought I'd show you what all the little dies are meant for, and then you can use them for whatever you like. You don't even have to use them on the booth. You could use them just on your card. That would be super cute as well. And obviously this little banner set could be used for anything because, you know, it doesn't look like it's taco themed, right? It just looks like it's party themed. So there we go. Isn't that cute? So there is that one. Now I'm going to put together the little chili peppers. First cut out of that gingham, um, gingham jewel tones. And then the little chili peppers were cut out of the polka dot parade again, but in red. Using my art glitter glue and my reverse tweezers. And I'm just sort of laying them all down. Aren't these cute? I'd like to use little, um, add little eyeballs to these. I just think those would be, that'd be hilarious. So I'm gonna weight that down. Remember, you can put this together um, and not use it on the banner itself. You can just have them separately on your card, right? So I'm just going to put this one together separately. I'm going to add the little tiny stem that was cut from that same polka dot parade from Sunny Studios. I love the colors from Sunny Studios. They're so pretty, right? Bright jewel tones, which are kind of fun, like for a uh, fiesta, right? Is what I was thinking. There we go. Isn't that cute? I just think it turned out great. Now I'm going to add on the little stems. Now you could have left it as it is, but it, because I cut the string itself, like the background piece out of green, right? So you don't need these little, these little stems if you don't want, but I think that they make all the difference, right? I love jaded blossom stitching. I just think it looks great. It really zhuzhes up your cards. So I'm just going to add them on. Remember, reverse tweezers are your friend for picking up stuff like this. I'm kind of all thumbs without them, to be honest. So I just love this new release from Jada Blossom. I did mention that I did not get the Moroccan stencil in time to show it to you. It's very pretty. Um, you can get it for free um, on Thursday of or Friday of the April 2023 taco release. Um, if you spend $50, not including tax, you know, shipping and handling, and you have at least one item from the new release in your cart, and then you'll get it for free. And free stuff is awesome, right? And I think that the Moroccan stencil would be good for anything. Okay, so those are the little chili peppers done. Now I'm going to put together the little tacos. So cute. So the little striped paper, that is also from Sunny Studios. And I'm not even sure what that's called. Let me look. Sorry, guys. I'm digging around through my stash. Okay, striped silly six inch cardstock for the green. And then the little yellow pieces, those were cut out of American Crafts cardstock. And then the little orange pieces, that's supposed to be cheese. And that is cut out of the gingham jewel tones, but in orange. So there we go. Lining up the little green pieces of lettuce. And remember, you can just make the taco by itself. I think that's so cute. You could use those on a card. How cute would that be? But we're going to put together this banner to decorate that build a booth because, like I said, how cute are these things? Just too cute. And would go perfectly with those Gnome Dye Cinco de Mayo add ons. A little guy in his sombrero. How cute would that be? Okay, so that's American Crafts sort of a light yellow cardstock. And it's got some texture, which I like from American Crafts. It's kind of like that bumpy texture, which looks great. On die cuts. Now I'm going to add a one little piece of cheese peeking out on each one. You could cut more if you like. I just chose to, you know, to cut one. And I'm going to kind of rotate where it ends up on my taco. Because why not, right? And I just think this release is super cute. You're going to want to get your hands on this. Um, remember, you're going to want to go to the, you know, hop on over to the Jada Blossom store, check out all of these amazing products, make sure that you go and check out the blog and be inspired by everyone. Everyone made some amazing products this time. I think you'll just love them. And thank you, like I said, for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And, you know, hopefully you'll come back and watch another. So that's the little round piece that you can cut. And that's all. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.